Hello everybody. Um, this is a installation of the Bowser RS3 that just came out uh, with a current keeper from Soundtrack. This is a current keeper number two, which is the smaller version. Um, I'm also here using preparing of the super safe solder liquid uh, for soldering wire to the board, to the Lock Sound version 5 board. Um, now, the, the first thing that I need to do is to remove the couplers. So there are two screws. and the body just comes out completely. Uh, as you can see, there are no wires to the body. Um, the uh, LEDs for the front and rear headlight are on the chassis itself. So that makes it really nice. Here I prepared the southern iron uh, with a mesh from Haku. So the first thing that I need to do is to remove the plug. Uh, this goes uh, uh, with the new Soundtrax decoders, so that it plugs in very easily. Um, since this is a lock sound decoder, it does not have such a plug, so I have to prepare the wires uh, with thinning the ends and also thinning the pads. Uh, the, will show up later on the board. My method of soldering is basically to, to wet the wires then put some solder on the uh, solder iron point and just transfer the solder to the wire. Here I show where the two pins are, the two tabs actually, uh, the black wire and the blue wire. These are the color of the current keeper wires. Uh, so, um, Lock sound uses uh, three wires, a red and a black and a gray. Um, the reason is for the gray is that that allows the power pack to be turned off via CV. So uh, right now what I do is that I wet the two pads and I put solder to the pads themselves. I'm not sure why, but one of the pads, uh, actually, I had some problem with. Uh, I should have probably cleaned it, <laughs> but didn't think of it at the time. You notice also that whenever I uh, put the iron, uh, solder iron back on the cradle, I clean the point. Now it's time to solder the um, well, 
I had a small break here. Uh, but it's time to solder the current keeper onto the board. Uh, as you notice, I do not need to put more solder now on the on the point because both the pads and the wires are thinned, so it's just a matter of uh, putting them on. Uh, a note, uh, since uh, this is actually my second engine, uh, we have two of these that, I, that I'm doing. And uh, so I did not test the engine after the installation at this point. Um, I did so with the first one. Of course, I didn't take a video of that. Um, over here, I am putting the... Uh, decoder inside the cab but unfortunately the wrapper of the current keeper uh, uh, protruded too big out, out of the actual uh, capacitors and board so what I needed to do was to trim the, the wrapper uh, so that it would fit Of course, one has to be careful here because you don't want to cut the, the capacitor for one thing and cut yourself. Over here, I had to make a little bit of, uh, remove a little bit of the wrapper in order to remove the, the, the cable as a plug. And then once it was removed, then I, was, I could easily get access to the wrapper without the danger of cutting the wire itself. Of course, when you cut like this with a knife, you, you need to be careful of how you use the knife so you don't cut yourself. And this is a first test for putting the capacitor, I mean, the current keeper inside, and there it is. It's on the roof. Um, That was uh, the Scotch, the uh, double-sided foam sticker, which basically puts the keeps the current keeper up on the ceiling. Now here I remove a little piece of plastic that is sewn on top of the chassis that has um, what's supposed to be a small um, interior. It's just uh, basically a, a seat. And you don't really see it from, from the windows. So I just removed it. And that way um, there is plenty of space for the cooler keeper. And as you can see here, it just fits on with no issues. Now it's time to put the coppers back on.
There's no need to super tight the screws. Now the second coupler, unfortunately, I, I do not know why, but I had a little bit of a problem. Uh, first of all, it opened up uh, and I tried to close it and uh, and you can't do that with two fingers. And voila, it's all done. Now it's a method of uh, shutting off the soldering iron, uh, recuperate the excess of the liquid for the solder. And then put away uh, the few parts that uh, were left the piece of plastic and the plastic couplers. Yeah, these are the plastic couplers that come originally. I replaced it with the KD. Um, I forget what they are, but uh, they're number five compatible with whiskers. These are probably the, um, actually the scale version of it. I forget the number. And then just put everything inside there, the packet, and that goes into the box. And at this point, it's the test to show you that the current keepers are working. Hey, instant flashlight. Well, <laughs> that didn't last long. But the, if you keep them for the longer, they will long, they will last longer. The capacitor didn't get a chance to charge. This is the end of the video. Um, I hope this helps uh, for your installation. See you next time.